Ibn Iblis knows his limits. First, he acknowledged Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's superiority by taking an oath upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's majesty. And then he clearly understood that he cannot influence anyone who is under Allah's protection. As it comes in Surah Isra, verse 65, إِنَّ عِبَادِي لَيْسَ لَكَ عَلَيْهِمْ سُلْطَانِ وَكَفَى بِرَبِّكَ وَكِيلًا Indeed, there is for you no authority over my believing servants. And sufficient is your Lord as disposer of affairs. So what do we learn from this verse? We learn that we should not slack in seeking Allah's protection against shaitan. Whoever gets protected from the evils of shaitan, he has indeed been saved from the ultimate punishment of hellfire. And at this very moment, there should be only one question on our minds. How should I seek Allah's protection? We get a very clear and succinct guidance from Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam on this matter. Narrated by Ibn Abbas Ta'ala Anhu in Tirmidhi, Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Ya ghulamu, inni ihfazillaha, yahfazka. I will teach you some words. Be mindful of Allah and He will protect you. Be mindful of Allah and you will find Him before you. If you ask, ask from Allah. If you seek help, seek help from Allah. Know that if the nations gathered together to benefit you, they could not benefit you unless Allah has decreed it for you. And if the nations gathered together to harm you, they could not harm you unless Allah has decreed it for you. The pens have been lifted and the pages have dried. This hadith is very comprehensive and it has many lessons. But if you just focus on seeking protection of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the key message is to remain mindful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in all our actions and at all times in our daily life. And He will surely and keep you under his protection. And there are also many du'as of protection which should make a habit of asking those du'as of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on a frequent basis. Rabbi a'udhu bika min hamazati shayateeni wa a'udhu bika rabbi an yakhluroon. Ameen.